Let's move on now and talk about uh, this story. White theatre goers urged not to attend a play aimed at black audiences. I had to read this twice. A theatre has urged white people not to attend a play, arguing that its audience should be free from the white gaze. This is the Theatre Royal Stratford East in East London, and it said that white visitors should not come and watch a performance of Tambo and Bones on July the 5th. Now, this is one date, and I had to double-check this, but it's one date. The organisers say they're hosting this one-off blackout event to create a safe private space for an all-black identifying audience to explore race-related issues. The theatre's website goes on to say no-one is excluded. Promotional material, however, made it clear that white theatre-goers are not welcome. It says they want this purposeful creation of an environment in which an all-black identifying audience can experience and discuss an event in the performing arts, film and cultural spaces free from the white gaze. Well, lots of people are very, un are very unhappy about this. The UK's first black police and crime commissioner condemned the event, warning it set a poor and dangerous precedent. Hephaestus Akin Busoyi, the PCC for Bedfordshire, strongly urged the theatre and the play's director to cancel its blackout event. Joining me now, Russell Quirk. He is a talk TV presenter who, let's just say, is a little bit cross about this. Good morning, Russell. Yes, good morning, David. Um, we all should be, shouldn't we? And, and I guess my question to you is, is racism ever OK, even when it's so-called positive discrimination? And, and my view on that is that no racism and no discrimination is OK. We'd all agree with that, wouldn't we? Um, I, I would totally agree with that. And when I first read it, I thought it was totally unacceptable. Imagine if you had a performance in a theatre that said only, you know, no, no black people or only white people are allowed to see this performance. That would be totally unacceptable. Yeah, can you imagine a, a whites-only cinema evening or something? And, and this is at a time when we constantly see headlines where everything is racist. You know, museums are racist, statues are racist, history is racist. Um, and then we've got this situation, which I'm sure in, with good intention by way of the theatre company and the theatre itself, um, they, they probably have good intention here, but what they're doing is accentuating and exaggerating division in doing so. So, David, when I saw this yesterday, I decided that I would ensure that this particular performance on July the 5th is one of diversity. So <laughs> there were a number of front row tickets still available on their website yesterday. I've bought them all. <laughs> right, OK. You put your money where your mouth is. I have. Mm. And if anyone wants to join me to make sure that this is a diverse mix from an ethnicity perspective, as all things should be, and we should embrace ethnicity, we should embrace diversity, not try to cause division, as this theatre is doing. If anyone wants to join me, come along. So when, cause, when, when is this? Tonight? It, no, July the 5th. July the 5th, July 5th. sorry, yes, I read that out. Um, so, so, I mean, uh, and just in terms of that, how's that going to go down? They're trying to create this one-off event, and you've ruined it. Uh, well, I, I guess, but it's um, it's like Mrs Parks on the back of the bus, isn't it? Mm. You know, um, so I'm making a stand as, as she did. I'm not trying to suggest that my stand here, where this particular theatre is concerned, is, uh, is, is, is similar to that as such, but we have to make a stand and we have to ensure that, look, all racism, even if it's well intended, even if it's by way of positive discrimination, that it's not acceptable, that it's stamped out. Um, so no wonder there's uproar, no wonder there's lots of people that are very miffed about this. Um, I mean, it, it's draconian, frankly, and it really does nothing to help the cause of trying to ensure that cultures within Britain can weld together, exist together and be harmonious. Russell, thank you very much indeed. Russell Quirt there, Talk TV presenter. Uh, Claire, very quickly, time, time is very tight. Mm. We're much stronger when we're together, united. Much, much and better. And we, we all blend together. It doesn't matter on the colour of your skin. Of course it doesn't. It, ma it matters what your soul is, how kind you are as a person, how you live your daily life. But this is not... A, this is this happened in Broadway, these blackout nights. They did. They, have, they started in Broadway. They've now moved over. It's not unlawful. But one other thing I would actually add to this is normally for funding for any theatre event or any films or anything you need to have a, you need to have diversity where's the diversity in this where was the funding from mm. why was it given if it knew this was going to cause such a stushy i mean in matthew zier the director of uh, this play he says it's imperative this blackout event goes ahead well obviously it won't because russell's there with his mates <sighs> <laughs> I, I, I think that was quite a disingenuous thing for him to have done, actually, to be honest with you. Interesting. I really interesting. do.